I certainly would look at it carefully. I I wouldn't automatically, as soon as I know why they misbehaved, when I say misbehaved, they acted in a certain way towards me that I didn't find respectful. I wouldn't automatically go on autopilot and say, that's fine, you can do that to me anytime because I'm so decent. (laughs) I'm such a nice human being and I understand you. So carry on, you can do that with me. It's okay, we're good. Um, I don't like that being autopilot because I've realized that there are certain people who would just allow themselves to be like that towards you. It's okay, I can kick her when I'm in a bad place, but I'm not going to kick this person and this person and this person. In fact, with them, even when I'm going through really difficult times, I'm going to show my very best. Now, this is a question. By not letting them know that I'm also upset, I also don't like the fact that they disrespect, by not communicating it, um, I'm allowing the other person to do something that really is not good for them either. Why disrespect? Is it good to disrespect other people? even when you have a very good excuse. Why give the approval to disrespect when someone's going through a bad time? When it comes now to understanding people's misbehavior towards me, I think I'm changing because I don't think that understanding them should be the same as approving them and certainly I don't think it should mean giving them a green light to go ahead and not be a decent human being. You see, I've realized that in order for me to be a decent human being, I was robbing them of being a decent human being towards me and that's very arrogant. So I think now When I'm faced with a situation like this, I ask myself whether I think is the, whether is the right thing to do to actually voice it, share it. I actually know of people who have been surrounded by people around them who wanted to be decent and that poor person carried on being misbehaving, 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 disrespecting continuously you might have family members every family I think has one member that does things like that and it's not their fault I don't think they're the only one to blame if there is anything such as blame but everybody around them plays a part because they're not um, creating boundaries and by not creating boundaries you're really giving a green light for bad behavior And I think there is a quote, I wanted to read it, but I haven't got it with me. I will put it on the the, um, description. Um, It's a quote about love and power, which I really, really like. Um, And and really shows exactly that. Loving um, and understanding and all of that doesn't necessarily mean that we have to allow other people to misbehave. I've repeated myself 50,000 times. I think you get the gist now. (laughs) Thank you for watching.